Just wanted to ask how the last uh, last couple of days have gone, just in terms of the group trying to stay upbeat, not getting down after a couple of uh, a couple of tough losses. You know, what what do you sense in your group heading into tonight? Uh, no, I mean, every team goes through this uh, throughout the year. It's uh, it's two losses, obviously not the way the way we want them, but um, still, it's two losses, and we got a third chance of getting the job done today. And I mean, it's it's a long season; every team goes through it. Based on the way the Leafs, you know, can put pressure on and and the offense that they have, what's what's the most important thing as a defenseman to just make sure you're doing to try and alleviate some of that pressure? Well, I think it's good breakouts and. Um, Obviously, net front battles has been it's been a big factor in these two games so far. So that's something we have to have to step up. Bob Stoffer, six thirty, Chad. Uh, good morning, Adam. Uh, just a, a thought on how it maybe changes for you when you go from playing with a, a veteran defenseman like Chris Russell to maybe when you had a little less experienced guys in there tonight, folks like Caleb Jones. Uh, you played four or five games there in a row. Uh, with legacy, does it change if you're partnered with a more uh, experienced defenseman in terms of you sort of taking things by the reins and, and leading the pairing? How does that work? Um, well, I mean, I mean, it's different. It's different the way you talk to the guys. I mean, Rusty is such an experienced guy. He's more probably had the most games of all of us in here. So he's he's a he's a leader on that way. And uh, playing with Jones and Loggy and those guys, they're skilled young. And they want to learn, so it's. I try to just communicate a lot with them and try to help them out as much as I can. Mark Spector, Sportsnet. Hey Adam, uh, and you know what? Does it also become about pride? Like you guys are all proud guys, and the Leafs came in here and they beat you twice, and they beat you pretty good twice. Like I know you got to get your game together. And the two points are important, but how much of this is is? A bunch of guys that that are proud and they don't want to get beat by the same team three times in a row. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge factor coming into tonight. I mean, it's losing twice, lose, losing three times in a row. Um, something we really talked about. We we really don't want to do. And I mean, we still have a lot of energy in the group, and we just have to get the job done today. It's, uh, 2-1 series, and I mean, we're still looking pretty good here, but we got to play a lot better overall, I think. Thank you. Eric Van Dees, Post Media. Hey, Adam. Um, I just wanted to ask you about these two and three game series. As a player, do you enjoy them? Or are you are you having fun playing the same team in a, in a series? Yeah. Um, I think this is a perfect for, scenario for everyone. I mean, it's if you lose to him yesterday, you have, a, you have another chance today. So it's it's I, I I really enjoy it. I know the guys really enjoy it, and yeah, we're having a lot of fun. Would you Would you like to see something like this continue when things get back to normal? I know it's it's kind of not out of your hands, but if you went on the road and played a team two or three times, would you like that? I would personally like that. Yeah. Jim Madison, Post Media. Uh, Adam, when you play a team three times in a row, though, I would presume that by the time you play them the third time, there's a lot of players on the other team you don't like because you're playing them three straight games. Is that so? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, even if they, if they score on you or whatever it might be, it's, uh, it's I mean, the third game is kind of heating up as the series goes along. So, yeah, you're you're right about that. And when you play a team three straight games, is it easier than if you just watch video on a team? When you're playing a team three straight games, do you get a better feel for the, the players on the opposing team than just watching them on video? I presume you do. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, if even if if they get new players or whatever it might be, you uh, kind of get a feel what they bring and how their system is working. So um, I think everything you get. Not used to it, but you expect what's what's coming.